The commands required for this experiment are node MC board, two servo motors, connecting wires and connecting cable. Now log into the Arduino IoT Cloud website. Click sign in here. Enter the username and password here and click on the sign in button here. Now go to Things menu. Here click Create Thing. Here rename this thing. Click on the rename button and give the name. Now click on the add button and add two variables and give the name, name for the variable owner servo1 and select the variable type as integer. Here no need to change these default options and click on the add variable button. Now click add button again and add the second variable and this variable name is servo2. And here also select the variable type as integer. So these options are selected by default and click on the add variable button. Now click the select device. Here click on set up new device and here select third party device. So we are using ESP8266 and we need to select the model. The model number is node MC 1.0 and then click on the continue button. Here we can give any device name. Then click next button. Here copy the secret key and select this checkbox and click on the continue button. And now click done. Now we need to uh, configure the network. So click on this configure button and here enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password and paste the secret key which we copied. And click on the save button. Now go back to the menu and click on the dashboard. So here click create dashboard. Here also we can rename the dashboard like we did for the things. Now we can add the widgets. So here we can control the output by two different ways. So one is by entering the numeric value and another one is through the slider. So click on this value button and here link the variable. We can link the first variable servo1. Click link variable. Here also we can give any name. And click on the done button. Now add the second one. Here link the servo2 variable and click link variable button. Here also we can give any name. And click done. Now we can add the sliders. So we can add two sliders. The first one is for the servo motor 1. Here also link the variable and select servo1. Click link variable button. And here click done. Here we can give the maximum value as 180. Now add the second slider, here link the servo2 variable and here click the link variable button 
here give the name as slider 2 here also give the maximum value as 180 degree and click on done button we can add two more widgets to check the output position of the servo motors so go to add here add the gauge widgets here select the variable as servo 1 for the motor 1 and give the name as servo output 1 and give the maximum value as 190 and click done now add one more gauge for the servo motor 2 here also link the variable servo 2 click on the link variable button and give the name as servo output 2 here also the maximum value will 180 degree and click on the done button now we can we have added the widgets now go back to the menu and go to things here click on the thing control servo motor and go to sketch and here open full editor so we need to make sure the agent is installed so if it is not installed we need to install the agent so click land more here we can click install the agent so click on the start button here download for win64 if your machine is 64 bit Now the agent is downloaded. Now double click and install the agent. So click on the yes button. So click next here. Again click next. And click finish. Now the agent is installed. So here click on the next button and here click go to web editor. Now the basic code template is created. Now we need to add our logic. So first we need to include the library. Hash include servo dot h so this is the Arduino library for controlling servo motors then we need to declare the variables my servo 1 comma my servo 2 now here we need to add the pin connections so the first servo motor is attached to the uh, pin D1 attach of 0 that means GPIO pin D3 and the second motor is attached to 2 that is GPIO pin 4 D4 and D3 now we need to add the position of the servo motors so that we need to add under this void loop so here my servo one dot right of servo one this is the variable name which we declared and the second one is my servo two dot right of servo two Now the program is completed. Now we can compile the program. Now the program is compiled successfully. Now we need to upload the program. So we need to select the board from here. So here you can see the port also. Now click this arrow button and upload the program to the Node MCU board. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the Node MCU board. 
we can also check the output from the mobile so for that download the iot remote application from the play store now once you open the application you can see the thing which we created in the arduino iot cloud website so click on that thing and here we can see the widget now we can check the output we can check the output by two different ways we can pass the numeric value and we can check the movement of the servo motor also we can adjust these two sliders and based on this value in the sliders the servo motors will rotate 